Let's take a look at find limit using the conjugate method. So for our first example here, we have a limit as x goes to 0 of square root of x plus 4 minus 2 over x. Now if I plug 0 in for x right now, um, we'd have a 0 in the denominator which we can't have. So what we're going to do, after I get the problem written, there it goes, is I'll multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the top. Now what the conjugate is, is the first is the same and the second is the same. See how this is square root of x plus 4 and 2? This is square root of x plus 4 and 2. But the sign in the middle is different. See how this is negative? So this will be positive. And whatever we multiply by the top, we have to multiply by the bottom that. Now in the bottom part we don't actually multiply those together, we just put them next to each other. Uh, the problem we have down below is the x, so we're hoping that x is going to cancel away. Now when you're multiplying conjugates together, all you have to do is multiply your first parts and your last parts. Square root of x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4 is x plus 4. Minus 2 times 2 gives you 4. Well, 4 minus 4 drops away, and we got x over x times square root of x plus 4 plus 2. And uh, now we see these x's will cancel. The reason it'll cancel is because this down below is x times this. So if it's multiplication, you can cancel the x's. So we got 1 over square root of x plus 4 plus 2. Now we can do direct substitution. So we'll plug 0 in for x. So we've got 1 over square root of 0 plus 4 plus 2. And 0 plus 4 is 4. So we've got square root of 4 plus 2. And square root of 4 is 2. So we've got 2 plus 2 which gives us one-fourth. And that's our answer. Let's look at our second example. We get limit as x goes to negative 2 of x plus 6 minus 2 over x plus 2. <coughs> now again, if we plugged in negative 2, we'd have a negative 2, negative 2 plus 2 in the denominator, which would give us 0. We can't have a 0 downstairs. So, we're going to, um, there we go. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. Um, so this is going to become square root of x plus 6 plus 2 over the square root of x plus 6 plus 2. And um, again, we don't actually multiply the bottom parts together. That x plus 2 is what ca is causing us problems. So we're hoping it just disappears. Now up on top, if you got conjugates, all you have to do is multiply your first parts together. So square root of x plus 6 times square root of x plus 6, and that gives you x plus 6. And then your last parts, negative 2 times times 2 gives you a negative 4. So then that gives us limit as x goes to negative 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. So we've got x plus 2 over x plus 2 times the square root of x plus 6 plus 2. Now notice, here we have an x plus 2 times this. So that's going to cancel with, with the x plus 2 up on top. So we got limit as x goes to negative 2 of 1 over the square root of x plus 6 plus 2. And we're going to plug in a negative 2 now for x. We could do a direct substitution. So we've got square root of negative 2 plus 6 plus 2. This is interesting. Oops. 
got distracted on the answer. Uh, okay, let's try it again. So it's 1 over uh, square root of 4 plus 2, which is 1 over 2 plus 2, which gives us 1 fourth again. Looks like I wasn't very imaginative when I made those up. I tried to make it different and actually came up with the same answer. Um, hmm. Oh well. Anyway, that shows you that our third problem type.